guys. Today, I'm gonna show you some quick tips on Procreate on how to cut out an image so you can use it in a photo manipulation in Procreate. So I'm starting something. Um, I kinda wanna keep it all in here. I'm making a scene with like a swamp and butterflies and branches and I'm gonna make it all gloomy and it's gonna be pretty nifty and I'm, I like it. But I have to get everything settled first. So I'm creating a new layer. I'm gonna rename it Butterfly 2. I'm probably gonna misspell it just because I like to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, I sure did and that's cool because it doesn't matter, it's for me. Remember, it doesn't matter what your layers are called. Uh, as long as you know what they are, that's all that matters. I cut the one out that was like this already. So, I wanna cut another one out. Insert photo. So I'm gonna do that one. I'll blow it up a little bit so I can see it. Hit that little button. So there's your picture. You inserted your, your photo by hitting the wrench key, um, insert photo and look for your file to insert it. Um, and then to cut it out, what we'll do is we'll hit this little button right here next to the arrow button. So to cut this out, you're gonna make sure you're on remove, you're on freehand, you're gonna put your dot where you want to start it and stop it. And you're gonna go in around your little butterfly guy. Just a side note, if you have to get out of it to readjust your photo, always take your pencil off. All right, so I went to the dot and touched it briefly and it's in selection mode right now. So from there, I'm gonna zoom out I'm gonna hit my little eraser button, make sure it's all the way up and whatever brush I'm on, it doesn't matter. Now, as you saw when I was cutting it out, I wasn't so worried about, I'm sorry that this layer is on, it's probably distracting. I wasn't so worried about, um, you know, going outside the line so much. I'm not worried about the little teeny things like the um, antennas because I know I can always draw it in. I can draw the antennas in. I can go in here and do some, erase some more of the work. Not a huge deal. So I go in really fine and kind of use a feathered eraser. And do it that way. I don't like the tentacles at all. I'm just gonna probably make my own on this little guy because it's just easier for me. Um, you know what? I don't know what that is. It's his head or something. He's gonna be a little small butterfly. He's not gonna be taking up the whole. Um, He's not gonna be taking up the whole thing. So it's not a big deal if he's not perfect for this particular thing that I'm doing. Oopsie. Okay, so thank God I have like back buttons and so forth. I used to do so many photo manipulations back in the day. Um, I used to own a business doing manipulations for people and it got to the point where I couldn't sit at a desk anymore. So I thank God that the iPad came out and I'm, you know, learned how to do photo manipulations with the iPad so I don't have to um, sit at a desk. I can move around my house. <laughs> so it's always really handy. All right, so we got our our butterfly and now you see it. 
so I'm gonna make him smaller. Oh, he's so cute. So <laughs> I don't know what happened here. So there's my little butterfly there, and I've got another little butterfly. I gotta make him smaller when I when I do this. I'm just making a a little um a little thing. You'll see it when I'm all done. It's gonna take I'll probably do a whole tutorial on this project, but I just wanted to get this out here because this is a part of the steps. Um I have to still find a. I don't know why that's there. Oh. You know, flip him and then. Eh, I have no idea how I'm going to have him. Probably something like that. Kind of there. So the idea is having a swamp type area. I'm going to take a lot of this background out and so forth. So anyhow, guys, that is how you take a photo and cut out the background. Um, really easy to do in Procreate. It's so handy to have this awesome uh, pencil to do so. Um, so much easier than Photoshop, honestly. Oh. Hold up. I wanted to show. That's why I wanted to keep it. Okay. Okay, because I forgot to show you earlier, I want to show you what can happen using this tool, which kind of sucks. Um, I've done it a million times. It drives me absolutely bonkers, and there's nothing much you can do about it. So, say I start doing this. And I get out of it for a reason, and I'm like, oh, you know, doing, oh no, I lost it. Or I'm making my selection, and I zoom. Wow, now it's not going to do it. Okay. I zoom with my fingers, and for some reason it picks up my fingers, and it made an extra line. So there's not really a way of going back with the, the marching ants. You kind of have to start all over and it is a kind of thing that drives me bonkers um whoops how they happen it is a thing that drives me bonkers however using a selection tool like this is very convenient um getting a lot of background out this is the faster way of doing things is using the selection tool like this the other way is just completely deleting the background when you do this, make sure you have a funky background color because if you don't, then you won't know where you are. <laughs> make sure you're on a separate layer to do so. Hit your thing. So it's behind this image. Okay, so get your eraser. I always start off with a bigger brush to do so. Go back to your image with the butterfly and you're going to erase most of it. Also, your eraser is a brush itself, so make sure you're on something that, you know, you can, uh, it doesn't have a texture to. So like airbrushes are your best bet. Go a soft brush, medium brush, or medium hard brush, whatever. Just make sure that you're not on some like charcoal like type of brush when it comes to erasing because that would really suck when you come in you're just gonna have to see it takes it takes a lot more time you have to do more brush strokes to do this um, you have more brush strokes you have to really go in there fine detail and you know, this might be soothing to you, so go ahead and do it if you want, that's cool. Um, I'm just showing you options of, of different ways of, of cutting out. All right, another way is going to selection. Hit that automatic button. You're gonna 
hit the areas that you want to remove or to get rid of and then you're going to hit your eraser button and it will allow you to erase it. The only thing is if you are working with something like that has a lot of foliage in the background this is gonna suck to do. It's just not gonna work for you. So I would not recommend it for that. Only if you have like a solid background is this good for. I was working on something the other day that I had this light bulb, okay, and then I was trying to fit something in it. So when I was doing this, I made another layer. Let me make sure I'm on a, a harder brush. Yes, I am, okay. I made a circle around the light bulb where I wanted it to show through and then I filled it and then say I didn't like you know some areas of it whatever I just did that kind of adjusted it a tiny bit okay so there it is I know it looks weird and then say I wanted something in it I'm just going to get her just because she's there. See, I did a, a clipping mask. What I would do is change the color of it. Um, Let's see, yeah, gray's good. Um, and then go in, duplicate this, put it on top, and do like a overlay. And then kind of smooth all this out. So. Is go in and delete. See that with one layer? I deleted the edges so you can't even see the edges. So you, you would just want the girl in it and it's like a quick easy peasy thing. It actually looks pretty decent like that. Um, so there's lots of different ways of working with photos in Procreate to make it, it's, it's just like Photoshop. I prefer Procreate over Photoshop now, especially when it comes to an iPad. Um, don't even bother, don't even bother getting the Photoshop version of on the iPad because it's just a waste of money. They want, what is it? It's like a subscription cost and it's not so easy to use. Um, I, I find myself using Procreate a lot more, uh, so I ended up deleting the app. I didn't even like it. Uh, and this is coming from somebody that did, did photo manipulations for a business. So um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you feel inspired to do some of your own art on Procreate and um, that you learned a lot. Don't forget to hit subscribe, mash that like button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.